everyone. Welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust and Mr. Scarecrow is here. He is here for, what, what are you here? Just to visit us? No, to let the students know today's vocabulary day. Yes, did you know that? You didn't? Well, now you do. It is vocabulary day. And what day is it? Vocabulary day one. Yes, indeed. I want you to add to your vocabulary list. Is it getting longer? It is? That's fantastic. That means you are learning some new words. And you may even have words that you've seen and heard, but you never knew the definitions. Now you have them. Isn't that fantastic? Use the words. Use them when you talk, when you're writing. Use them. Because practice, 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 practice. That is the key to getting the language to being able to use more words when writing and speaking. So, are you gonna stay here? Oh no, I just thought I'd drop by to, to wish everyone a good day working on the vocabulary. Well, thank you, Mr. Scarecrow. We appreciate that, we truly do. Well, I gotta go now. All right, so have yourself a good day. You too, and the students, enjoy. All right, bye-bye. That was so nice of Mr. Scarecrow. So let's look at our boards. Are you ready? Do you have your paper out? Let me check. Uh-oh, let me give you a few seconds to get some paper out. While you're doing that, I'll get my first board. Here I am. Let's do this. So, as I said, vocabulary day one, or I should say Mr. Scarecrow said. Vocabulary day one. It's all about adding to our vocabulary list. I want you to add to it. Okay, so here's your assignment. Yes, it's going to sound uh, very familiar. Yes, indeed. But we do have something a little different today. I added something, so let's wait and see. So we start with, well, you've got to have a dictionary. You need that dictionary. Okay, and I want you to look for 13 words, letters A through M. Now, please understand, you're looking for a word that starts with A, with B, with C, D, E, F, okay? All the way down to M, A through M, only. So that will make your 13. And add those words to your list and check and see how long is your list. Do you have several pages now? Front and back, fantastic. Okay, so I want you to look for 13 words that are new to you. New. Okay. Try to stay away from um, words that are city names or people's names. Actually find words that you can use when you're writing, when you're talking. Okay. Words that are verbs that show action, show doing. Verbs that are descriptive. In other words, that give you a little bit of detail, such as tall, short, smart, okay, happy. Look for those kinds of words. And try to stay away from um, like people's names, as I said, company names, state names, and the like. Okay, because I really truly want you to build up your vocabulary and to get comfortable with using new words because you're going to be comfortable when you know what they mean. And people are going to be impressed. They're going to look at you and go, fantastic. That's what learning the language is all about. Building the vocabulary. So look for new words that you can use in your sentences that you can use in your speech, you know, when you talk. Everyone understand this? Okay, let's move on to the other board. All right. Woo, let's do it. I want you, as always, to put them in alphabetical order. Does that make sense? Put them in alphabetical order. It's a good review. Sometimes we forget. We may sit there and go, uh-oh, what goes after G? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Oh, H. It happens. People do sing the ABC song. 
Yeah, the alphabet song. Eh, it happens. Okay? So this is good practice. So keep that in mind. Put them in alphabetical order, please. All right. So I know that you know the order. Fantastic. Then I want you to define, in other words, what are the definitions of your words? So give me the meanings as we have been doing. Okay, this way you will know what cookie means, what button means, what horse means. Just examples. Okay. All right. Now, here is something new. When you look in a dictionary, right after the word, you will find a letter. Could be an example right here a V, which will stand for verb. Or it could be N, which would stand for noun. In other words, I want you to look for the part of speech. So review your parts of speech. We had the noun, the pronoun, the verb, the adjective, the adverb, the preposition, the conjunction, and the interjection. So following the word, you will find the part of speech. As I said, it could be V period or N period, or ADJ, which stands for what? Yes, adjective. So I want you to write down the part of speech of each word. So if you found the word cookie, what would the dictionary tell you is the part of speech? It would say cookie and then N period, which would stand for noun. Okay, example, V period would stand for verb. So if you have throw, Okay, one version of throw is a verb, right? When we throw a ball. And then we also have it as a noun. Some people um, use a throw. It's like a blanket that you throw basically on yourself. But it's used as a noun. Okay. Um, so you would have it in two categories. One would be the verb version. And then you go down and you see it would be throw one and throw two. And you go, oh, another one. And then that one's your noun, for example. Does that make sense? If you're having problems with this, let me know. But look in your dictionary. When you get those words, check near the closest. Okay? You'll see the word and then right next to it or close by, it'll give you the part of speech. So re review. Can't talk. Review your parts of speech. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, Interjection. We got that. Yeah. Noun. Pronoun. Verb. Adjective. Adverb. Preposition. Conjunction. Interjection. Any questions about what to do? So this is your assignment. Everything is the same, isn't it? Except for the last step. You've got to find the part of speech. So I want you not only to know the word and what it means, but I also want you to know, how do you use it? Do you use it as a conjunction, as an interjection, as a verb? How? Or what are the ways you could use this word? Again, some words have several parts of speech because they have so many different meanings. Okay. It can be used as a verb, noun, or sometimes an adjective, depending how you use it in the sentence. Okay. Any questions? No? All right. Then I'm going to leave you with today's question, which is funny because I mentioned a horse before. Guess what? Have you ever ridden a horse? Have you ever had the fun of riding a horse? It's fun, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Especially when they're all excited and you're going, rrr, rrr. hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, it's fun. <laughs> so, have you ever ridden a horse? Okay. Oh, I believe someone's coming back. So, any questions? Let's do the last Woo -hoo. Nope. Okay. Mr. Scarecrow is coming back. Well, Mr. Scarecrow, you are back. Yes, I am. Okay. So we had our first day of the vocabulary. So we're going to be adding 13 words to the list. Fantastic. Yes, it is. We're learning more and more. Okay. Now we need to also realize, folks, try to say the words. The pronunciation is right there in the dictionary. Try to pronounce the words. Let's say you never heard the word cookie and you're going, oh, that looks neat. 
you would see the pronunciation of the word cookie and you would try to say cookie and put it together. Cookie. So take words apart, especially when they're longer. Take them apart bit by bit. Cookie. And then you throw them together. Cookie. Okay, you take words apart. As I said, especially when they're long. You go a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and then take it all together to, to pronounce it. Okay? So we're done for today. Aren't we, folks? That's, that's your assignment. And it is due today. A through M. I want to see a word for each letter, folks. Okay? A through M. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. I know. I want to move it faster at one point. Okay. I thought you were going to sing. Oh, no, I'm not going to sing the alphabet song. We already did that numerous times, many times. I don't know if they want to hear me sing A, B, C, D, Yeah, I went down. Okay, I can understand. Want me to sing? No, that's okay. I think we're done for today. So, what do we wish them? But thank you for offering, Mr. Scarecrow. Because I hear you have a fantastic voice. I sure do. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Isn't that great? It's fantastic. So, what do we wish them? A good day. Yes, I do wish you a great day. Not just a good day, a great day. Till next time. Bye-bye.